Don't be too frightened, my dear friends. You may be surprised to know that I, Morgus, am about to unleash a blockbuster for my medical colleagues in orthopedic medicine. <laughs> you see, the medical field has not looked too kindly on chiropractic principles, as you know. I mean, the very idea of uh, manipulating one's joints and bones to cure ailments uh, sort of hits a raw nerve with some of the medical boys, you know. As a matter of fact, I know one doctor who thinks chiropractors are chiroquactors. <laughs> well, we'll soon find out where the word quack belongs tonight. <laughs> Hold on to those notebooks and your sacroiliacs for one minute. All right, Chopper, you know what to do. Now, when I say the words thousands of years, that's when you pull the chart down, okay? It's that simple. Oh, <laughs> well, all right, my colleagues, we're about to give the ancient principles of chiropractic a new prominence and recognition. <laughs> In fact, chiropractic is about to become a respected science. You see, the theory has been that the human body has its own chemistry factory within which it can cure itself. An interference with proper nerve function causes sickness and disease. <laughs> well, the fact is, your nerves are like little fine optic wires, just like you find in the telephone lines. I mean, they connect to all parts of your body, through your vertebrae, and they go up through the vertebrae right to the brain. Even so, if you should pinch your little toe, that little nerve wire tells your brain, hey, that hurts. <laughs> it also means that your back had better be in alignment or else the nerve wires could be pinched and your brain would not send the right message and chemistry to that area connected to the nerve. And of course, that area would become damaged. Now that makes sense, doesn't it? <laughs> what this means is all the vertebrae in your back must be straight in order for you to be healthy. I mean, man's back has not always been straight though. Thousands of years ago, he was quite bent over. Thousands of years, oh, never mind, I'll get it, I'll get it, you idiot. You see, my friends, early man had quite a problem. As a matter of fact, back then, life expectancy was only about 10 or 12 years. And then, of course, he became Neanderthal. And the Neanderthal man was a little more erect, and therefore he lived longer, maybe up to 30 years. And then, of course, we come to the modern Homo sapien, who is erect and more healthy. As the back became straight, he became more healthy. He lives longer, maybe 80, 90 years or more. <laughs> and of course, with erectness comes intelligence. Intelligence because he's erect. <laughs> and of course, that's the way it is, and that's why the vertebrae... Oh, just a moment. Yes, what is it? Oh, that's right, I am bent over. That has nothing to do with intelligence. Look, look, you... <laughs> <laughs> trying to make a fool of me. <laughs> you see, I happen to be bent over, my friends, because I'm working over the table all the time. Intelligence has a lot to do with the way you stand erect, and that will always be a principle. What? Oh, yeah, that's right, Chopsley. You are very straight. That's right. There are, there are exceptions, friends, <clears throat> as you know. He's got the IQ of a cockroach, you know. But anyway, what we're doing tonight, my friends, is bringing us science in chiropractic, and you are going to be a part of it. We have all sorts of equipment. You're going to see what all of this can do and how medicine and chiropractic will work together. I have all sorts of gadgets and things you're going to see will bring a new and better life to all of you. Oh, speaking of that, I think the station wants to bring a new and better piece of entertainment. So don't go away. Call your chiropractic and your orthopedic friends and have them tune in, and we'll be back in just a few minutes. So go ahead and roll it down there. We'll be right back. Chopsley, next. Friends of science, it's time once again to Ask, Ask Dr. Dr. Morgus. Morgus. Patrick Marrero, formerly of Gentilly, writes, If you are the genius they say you are, how come you make so many mistakes? Well, listen, last week I saw a man who had not made a mistake in 3,000 years. He was an Egyptian mummy. 
Thank you, Dr. Morgus. This week's entry will receive a coveted Morgus t-shirt and the admiration of the scientific community. You too can have your challenging question answered by Dr. Morgus. Send the doctor an email with your question, name, and address to morgus at cox.com. Uh, all right. Oh, there they are. Now get ready for the emergence of a new science. <laughs> where medicine and chiropractic live hand in hand. <laughs> and the new science is called not chiropractics, but neuromorgopractics. <laughs> the word neuro means nerves. And the nerves, of course, are part of the brain. And of course, you know what a brain looks like. All right, there's the brain. And all the nerves run down through the vertebrae, as I explained. It's that simple. Of course, the brain is that part of your body that controls the nerves and can send the right chemistry to the correct places in your body. Since the nerves travel through the vertebrae, they must be straight and in alignment, just like an automobile. Yes, that's right, <laughs> like an automobile. I mean, if the wheels are out of alignment, your tires wear out, right? <laughs> now, how do you get the vertebrae that are out of alignment back into alignment? Well. The chiropractors manipulate the bones and the joints to help relieve the pinched nerves. <laughs> but they can't go far enough. You know why? Simply because the bones are stiff and hard. That's why they could break your neck. <laughs> now this is why you have to keep going back to these guys. Just imagine if there could be just one visit for a cure. <laughs> well, here comes the big breakthrough. Morgalastic bone deossification. <laughs> That's it. What this means, my friends, is a solution that can temporarily soften the bones to a consistency of rubber. <laughs> That's right. It's injected into that section to be manipulated. As a matter of fact, Chopper, you got the bone? All right, we have, a, we have an animal bone here. Very good. That's a good example. <laughs> All right. Now, I'm going to drop this into the solution. Just like that. <laughs> well, it only takes a little while, and I better put these gloves on, because you know what would happen if I didn't. <laughs> All right, let's see what happened right there. Can't let it stay in. <laughs> Look at that. You see how it is? Just like rubber. <laughs> oh, get that, Joffrey. Oh, must be from the ad. Oh, yes, sir, come in. Dr. Morgus? Yes, sir. My name is David Miller. Oh. I saw your ad in the paper here. It says you can correct eye problems with chiropractic. Oh, oh yeah, that's my, yeah. Oh, no, not chiropractic. <laughs> Neuromorgopractic. <laughs> oh, well, whatever you call it. I've been to several doctors, and I'll pay you a bundle if you can get rid of these. Oh, oh man, you, can, you pay me a bundle? Uh, look, just step right over here. Uh, Chopsley, uh, you know what? <clears throat> If you have eye problems, it's probably up in your back vertebrae here, the number two cervical. Number two cervical. That's right, number two. And that's right behind here, like I said. Now, look, here's what I want you to do. You stand right here. As a matter of fact, you, you won't need these glasses. Again, it's doubtful you ever use them. Oh, don't worry, you'll be able to see. Shopley, uh, get the cards. <clears throat> We're going to give you a little eye examination. Before the night is over, you'll be able to read these one ads, the ones you brought in. <laughs> All right, Shop, let's start with the A. The E, the N, just three of them. <clears throat> All right, I want you to read this first letter. Uh, that's an A. Oh, very good. All right, show the next one, Chosley. It's an E. An E, very good. All right, get the next one. <laughs> it's a Z. a Z. No, 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 no. Try it again. Come a little closer. <laughs> that's a Z. a Z. Oh, you idiot. Turn the thing around. Oh, forget it. Oh, he's slowing up. Look, sir, look, come over here. I want you to sit down right here. Just turn around here quickly. We're going to soften the back of your neck. And I'm going to show you chiropractors how the solution works. Now, this will sting just a little bit. We're going to go into the number two cervical section here. Now, watch, watch out. Watch out. There you go. Oh, good. I know. I know it hurts. Okay. All right. I'm going to rub it a little bit. Hand me the helmet, Chopsley. All right. Now, your neck is going to numb a little bit. Very good, Chopsley. All right. I'm going to place this helmet over your head and there are two little clamps in there that'll push on the side of your head or we'll tighten it up and it'll lock each side of your head <laughs> oh there we go okay oh yeah all right you feel anything yet uh -huh. well, your head will get a little numb as i turn now you won't feel too much of this because Mm -hmm. Your neck is getting a little dead. All right. I know this looks kind of weird to you folks out there, but mm -hmm. this is why chiropractors have trouble. They couldn't dare do this. 
Now, let's take it off. I'll take the left one off first here and back it off. And then the right one. Okay, I'm lifted up slowly now. All right, your head, your head will be a little numb. <laughs> you see, it's going to be a little numb for a while. Now, now I want you to, to try to turn your head clockwise around again. I can't. I don't seem to be able to control it. Oh, oh, okay, all right, all right. Just hold what you have there. You can't control it. Everything will be all right. Just a matter of minutes, your head will be able to, just like a clock, it'll start turning around slowly. You'll gain control of your muscles. All right. Oh, look, uh, in fact, let's, let's let the uh, control room down there gain control of the little entertainment for a while, and we'll be back in just a little while. You know what's happening here tonight. All right, look, it's going to be okay. What you have to remember is you're really a part of science now. <laughs> How long do I have to stay like this? Well, like I told you, maybe just another hour or so. Uh, oh, there they are. Well, things are moving along here. He's starting to get a little more sensitivity in the neck, and in a little while, his head will start turning back. As a matter of fact, I, I'd like you to move over here because I'm expecting another client. Uh, just sit right there. That's good. Okay. Oh, that must be her. Some lady called. Oh, yes, Mrs. Lucas. Just come on in here. Make yourself comfortable. As a matter of fact, uh, <laughs> I uh, no, just... What's wrong with him? Oh, 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 no, very, very sensitive case here. Don't even look at him. Uh, now, now, what's this problem you have with your husband? I need to put some extra weight on. He would like me to. And I understand you have a method that could help me do that. Well, I say neuromorgo practice can do that. Yes, in fact, we can even help you that want to put on weight or lose weight. You can do it through the morgo practice. As a matter of fact, uh, yes, you, if you want it up here and down here, you sit right up there. <laughs> That's simple. Now, you uh, chiropractors will particularly be interested in this because we're going to go into the thoracic section of the shoulder. Uh, I want you to lie face down, if you will. All right, Charles, get ready here. We're going to cover you up. I have to give you a little shot in the number three thoracic spine here. You got it? Okay, Chopsley. Now, let's just get the shirt up here, the little blouse. Oh, we don't know to show all of this. Right up here. It's going to feel a little tingle for a second. You ready? <laughs> I know, I know. Okay. Okay. Now, we rub that a little bit. Okay. Now, you just get up and stand up. You're going to be loose right up in the top of the shoulder blades. Your entire arms and shoulder blades will will loosen up and you'll be able to move. I want you to step right up here. Now, I want you to take your little middle finger here and this little middle finger and lock your hands in front of you like that. Okay, I'm gonna put a little piece of tape there. Now, you, you chiropractors have never seen this. We have loosened the entire shoulder and chest section. Now, your fingers are locked together, okay? Now, I want you to put your legs, like, watch me, I want you to take your leg and put your leg through your hands and your other foot and end up with your hand behind you like that. Just go ahead and do what I tell you. That's right, just put you, there you, oh, very good, okay, that's it. That's, oh, very good, that's good. Now, you got your hand behind you, okay? Now, I want you to, you see, I want you to push your hands over your head. Wait, wait, let me loosen them up a little bit. Okay, all right, now try to put your hands over your head. Keep going, you see, it's loosening. <laughs> you see that? Okay. They're very good. Felt crazy. Great. All right. See, that's going to loosen the whole thing. Now, all that will start growing. Now, oh, get up here again. Get up here again. All right, Chops, you don't leave the needle on the table, you idiot. Hold it. All right. Now, I want you to go face down again, please. Okay, I've got to give you a shot now down in the, uh, in the sacrum area here. That'll be right down here. Oh, well, we've got to hide this. We've got to hide this. Okay. You got it? Okay. And we pull this apart. I like this. <laughs> all right, all right, just push in a little bit here. All right. Okay, we're going to rub it like this, and it's going to work its way. Okay, now I got in the lower back there, and all of that's going to get flexible up in here. Oh, you got the tape off, John? Okay, just sit up over there quickly. Very good. Now your whole back is going to get a little, little weak now. It's starting to get weak already, huh? Watch this, you'll collapse. Your whole thing will collapse now. Okay, now look, I want you to go over backwards. Oh, yeah, that's, that's it. It's a whole back will go. Oh, okay. Oh, oh, there you go. All right, just, just hold what you have. Hold what you have. Uh, okay, you see, her whole back is collapsing now. Uh, as a matter of fact, uh, I'm going to move her over here. Uh, let me move her over here. I'm going to just set her up right here. Uh-oh, uh oh, oh, wait a minute. Oh, you, you don't mind. Just hold on right there, ma'am. Oh, that must be that guy that called. Oh, yes, come in, sir. Oh. If you can help them, you can help me. 
Oh, you know, Dr. Borges, is it true you could cure the Cobbett cold with chiropractics? No, no, it's neuromorbo practice. And we can cure the common cold, believe it or not. Step over here, sir. Chopper, you know what I need for that. You're going to see something you never dreamed possible. It may look like a simple, straight board to you. But it's called the old lock grip Morgus board. That's what it's called. And you're going to be reading a lot about it. I want you to turn sideways. I want to explain something here. Straight board goes up his back and locks on the front of his head. Put that lock over there, Chopsley. Just like the wrestler's lock, the lock grip. It pulls the head back to the board. Then we put this around his waist, Chopsley, like that, okay? Now, he's in perfect straight line with his vertebrae. He can't push his head forward. <laughs> I'll bet your sinuses are opening up already. Uh, they feel better already. You see that? <laughs> By the way, have you ever seen wrestlers with coals? Never. That's because their head is constantly pulled back. Sinuses are open all the time. Feels, well, feels great. Uh, how much does this cost? Oh, oh, no, you don't pay for this. <laughs> you have to rent it. Rent it? Yeah. Well, I could make one of these at home. Oh, no, you can't make one of these, my friend. <laughs> We're talking about anatomical correctness here. I mean, besides, uh, it's mammy approved <laughs> and it's patented, so you've got to pay for it. It's a rental of $100 a month. $100? It's worth it. It feels great. Well, I told you, you're going to be much better off. By the way, you've got to wear it about eight hours a day, okay? Eight hours a day. If you want to keep the sinuses clean, okay? All right. All right, tell your friends about it. Oh, I will. I'll tell all my friends. Oh, let me open the door for you. All right, good wishes. Thank you. <laughs> oh, oh, by the way, I I've got to straighten these, these little people out here. Go ahead and run back to the little uh, entertainment. We'll be back in just a few minutes. Oh, dear. I'll help you, honey. See, it's right here in the book, you see, so that's why it's not going to be a problem. <laughs> My neck isn't rubbery anymore. It's stiff. It will come back, won't it? Like I told you, I said it will come back. All right, now I'm going to take care of each one of you here. Now listen, you're going to hold out. I know things are going to get a little better in just a little while, all right? I'm thirsty. Oh, yeah, you're thirsty. All right, Chopsley, get her a drink quickly, a drink. Oh, oh, there you are, friends. Well, look, they're coming back very slowly here, but I think it's going to work out. She wants a drink. Oh, let's see. I don't know how this is going to work. I'm going to put this in your mouth. This is a straw. Okay. Hey, that's very good. Very good. See if you can drink it all. Hey, you're drinking upside down. Well, you see, actually, the body can drink. Oh, my, that's great. That's great. Okay. <laughs> very good. I need water. Oh, he needs water. He needs water. All right. He needs water. Uh, what we're going to do, uh, if we're going to give them, oh, you got it? Pour the water. We're going to give them a little drink. And then, here you go. Uh, oh, okay, okay, I'll get that. I know who that is. That's Wiley was sending somebody from the press. Okay. <laughs> oh, I wish. Wait a minute, wait a minute. We can't let him in right now. Chopsley, get the tranquilizer spray and spray each one of them. We can't have a press conference with these people like... Look, hold on for just a minute. We'll be right out, okay? <laughs> that's it, that's it. Okay, that, that'll just put him to sleep a little bit and tranquilize them and, of course, relax them. And, it, frankly, that'll bring them back probably quicker, you know? <laughs> that way they're not so tense. Okay, let's let him in. Yes, sir. Yes, right. I'm uh, Tim Nichols with the Chiropractic Weekly Journal. Uh, Mr. Wiley Fay uh, sent me a press release about what you're doing here. I couldn't wait to come over and cover this. Look, look, I wish you'd have come tomorrow. You see, we're not quite through. <laughs> I know, I know, but uh, I needed a before and after story. Oh. Uh, this is before, isn't it? Oh, yes, this is before. Oh, of course, yes. Uh, well, in fact, we're just about ending up here. Ah, uh, good, good. Well, look, let, let, let me just get a few pictures here. Oh, sure, sure. Yeah, here. this is this is something. I don't think I've ever seen anything like oh, this. I know you haven't seen anything like this. Yeah. Let me get in there. Please, please. <laughs> oh, this is front page. This is front page. Uh, hey, can we get him to smile? Uh, oh, no, no, he's, he's, he's meditating right now. He can't smile. <laughs> oh, good Lord. How does a man get to a place like this? Well, I tell you what, well, I actually being in the wrong place at the wrong time, I guess. <laughs> oh, Lord. Well, hey, of course, just another uh, one. Can I interview her? Oh, oh, no, no, you can't talk to any of them. They, like I say, they're all meditating, you see. <laughs> uh, well, when are they going to come out of this? Well, oh, eventually, I mean, oh, just a little while. In fact, a little later on, as a matter of fact. Oh, I've got to get, I've got to get a few more pictures. I've just got to get a few well, more. Well, take a picture with yeah, myself maybe, here. Maybe. All right. <laughs> Oh, there we go. Good. I think we have a front page here. I think we do. Well, now, look, you I can't stay what? here. You do realize you're going to have to go out. I mean, maybe come back tomorrow. No, no, I, I can't come back tomorrow. I'm, I'm on a deadline. Look, look, let, let me just get a few more pictures here. All right, hurry up, uh, hurry yeah. up. Yeah. Okay, sure. let me stand on this one, too. Yeah. <laughs>
All right. Oh, perfect, All perfect, right, perfect. perfect. Uh, what? I need uh, What? Bathroom. Oh, oh, oh. Bathroom. Oh, he came out of it. You bathroom. idiot, Chopsley. He didn't get... Oh, he's got to go to the bathroom. Oh, boy, I, I, that, that's something i got to get a shot of. How's he going to go to the bathroom? Look, look, don't ask questions like that. Uh, anyway, uh, all right, just keep moving along, Adams. Just keep moving along here. Yeah. All right, now, friends, this is a little embarrassing. Naturally, he would have to go here. Yeah. I'm going to have to get a shot of that. There's no way that I can't hey, get a hey, shot. Hey, wait. I've got to talk to you. Hey, no, 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 you can't talk to him. Sit down, sit down, Miller. Sit down, Miller. No talking to him, please. Uh, come with me. <laughs> All right, thank you. <laughs> oh, boy. Am I getting calls for the headlock Morgus board? I tell you, this thing is going to change the whole chiropractic world. And, of course, if you would like to order one of these, you can be first. Don't send any money. Just send your name and address to the old city ice house right here in town, and, of course, we'll bill you later. Now, I know some of you are calling in worrying about our patients here, but believe me, remember, all of this is, is not rehearsed, you know. <laughs> this is all live. That's why it takes a little longer sometimes. We can't do it before you go to bed, you know. But I'll tell you this. They said it could not be done. <laughs> and we have merged chiropractics into the field of medical science. Now, of course, there still will be these chiropractors doing the same thing the old-fashioned way, you know. And, of course, there'll still be the orthopedic surgeons and the neurosurgeons still claiming that their method is the only way. But as sure as I'm standing here, sooner or later, they'll all come knocking at my door wanting a seminar on these techniques. Believe me. Oh, see, they're knocking already. <laughs> of course. All right. Oh, this looks like a doctor already here. <laughs> what do you mean? Well... You, you, you did come to pick up the latest on the neuromorgal practice, didn't you? No, I came here to pick up my wife. Your Where wife? is she? Your wife? Oh, your wife. What do you mean? Oh, 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 my God. What do you mean? Catherine, is that you? Yes, it is. Oh, oh. Are you all right? I don't know. Uh, you don't know? Uh, uh, well, look, uh, I can... Uh, uh, what have you done to her? Oh, look, 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 I can explain. Look, look, all I did was soften her bones and, and, and put a little solution inside of her veins. You understand? That's... Softened her bones? Yeah, yeah, look, I can show you. I can show you. It's this, it's this more galactic solution, you see? I injected that in. This is what I put inside. It softened all of her bones, and then I could twist her and help her. Situ... Soften her bones? That's right. I'm going to soften your bones, you numbskull. Drink it. Oh, no. Wait, drink wait, it. Wait, 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 you're not supposed to. I said drink it you or don't drink I'm going to drown you in you're it. You're supposed to inject it. You... Drink it. Oh, all right, all right. But you're not supposed to. I said drink it. You better drink every last drop. <coughs> oh, I'm getting... Oh, 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 wait a minute. I'm getting loose. Well, in that case, I'm just going to have to tie you up in knots. What? What are you doing? What are you doing? Tie you up in knots. How do you like this? How do you like your own medicine? Come on, Catherine. Let's get out of here. This place is a dive. Oh. Oh. You'll be all right. Jesus next week when Morgus the Magnificent takes us into the realm of science. Good night, pleasant dreams. <laughs>was brought to you by Cox Communications, rebuilding a greater New Orleans together.